And no love since you know when You know I love you Yes I do Saving all my loving just for you I need your loving and I need it bad Just like a dog when he's a golden man Ooh-wee baby Ooh-wee baby Don't you give your love to me Eeny meeny Mine and more You don't want me around no more Ooh-wee baby Dog bite me. Yes, it's me and I'm in love again. Had no love since you know when. You know I love you. Yes, I do. Well, I'm saving all my loving just for you. I need your loving and I need it bad. Just like a dog when. Baby, ooh-wee, baby, won't you give your love to me? Eeny, meeny, mighty more. Don't you want me around no more? Ooh-wee, baby, ooh-wee, don't you look your dog bite me? Hey, how you doing out there, Guitar Heroes? All right, we love Fats Domino. Hey, a number three hit in 1956. I'm in love again. <laughs> yeah, this is what you call rock and roll. Uh, we got three chords, and those are, that's, those are the ones that we like. I'm playing a four-finger G, and then I'm playing the C, C add nine. I'm right, just moving these two fingers down one string, keep these two in the same spot. And then for the D, because we're really not even playing the D, we're just doing a hit. Then I'm just leaving those two fingers in exactly the same spot and then moving this finger over to the G string. Because that's all you got right there for your D chord. <laughs> okay, well, I think there's like a saxophone intro or something like that that gets played uh, fairly often throughout the song. And then I'm going to hit, hit the, the low E and then open A, 2, and then back to the third fret on the low E. And then uh, when it comes around to the C chord, you can do the same thing. We'll just move one string down here, do the exact same pattern. Now that only gets played one time at the beginning. G. Yes, it's me and I would love again. And then I think that gets played again at the end of the line. I just did a, a C add nine and then back to the G to make it a little bit easier. And you, you, you're still hanging on that G. Had no love and since you know when. And now we're going to go to a C or a C add nine in this case. You know I love you. Yes, I do. And here comes that D with the one hit. I'm saving all my love and just for you. And then I do, usually do an up strum from that position and then end up back on the G. And it's actually a, let's see. Up. Yeah, it's a, it's a up, down, a quick up, up, down, and then a down on the G. And it's just a little technique to, to fill in the space in between. And then move into the next verse, and that, so they're all you know pretty simple here. We're just kind of hanging on that G. I need your love, I need it bad. C G, just like a dog when he's going mad. C, wooey baby, wooey D, baby, won't you give your love to me? And then again, gives you a, a nice uh, transition into the next verse. Now there's only three verses, they just get repeated and there's a little bit of an instrumental uh, that's in between. So the embellishments that we have that you can add in, of course, is just to do that little riff more often. Yes, it's me and I'm in love again. Had no love since you know when. 
and then I, it may it may be here right at the beginning of the when we move to the C chord. You know I love you, and yes I do. Just doing that quick little hit, and I'm saying all oh, my love for you. So you can add that in at least at the first line. You can add that at the end, and then you can add it uh, when you go to the C chord. All right, so let's check the speed on this thing. Yeah, it me and I'm in love again. And no love since you know when. You know I love you. Yes, I do. Well, I'm saving all my love just for you. So, kind of a medium, medium pace, you know, kind of that bluesy vibe. Uh, and then a little bit of palm muting, and then on these chords, on the G chord, this, this first finger can go up and down. Or both fingers can go up. Then when you get to the C chord, the index finger. So just another little way to add a little something besides the palm muting. And that's basically what you got, so you know, three verses and uh, just repeating them so it's kind of a simple chord progression and uh, you know by adding some of these embellishments hey you got to, you got yourself a great little bluesy tune from the 50s and uh, hey rock and roll is what it's all about so i hope you got something out of this lesson take it easy out there and we'll, we'll see you next time